I think a couple minutes um, post uh, the SharePoint conference to clear something up. I mean, we had a lot of folks after the uh, blob externalization session on Wednesday come back to our booths, send us emails. Uh, there's even a couple tweets flying around about um, you know how we weren't mentioned in the session as having an RBS provider. And um, the truth is, we've had an RBS provider for quite some time. We've actually been working with the folks that are that were presenting, so that's what was especially interesting for us. But anyway, um, you know, we have a 2007 product that supports EBS. Um, we have a 2010 product uh, that will be releasing beta near the end of the year, um, you know, early part of next year, that will have both EBS and RBS. Uh, so our customers that you want to move from 2007 to 2010 will be able to do that very easily. And, and once they're there, they can choose to stay with EBS or or migrate to RBS, uh, you know, very easily as well. We'll have a there is a already in place a um, a migration be, between the two. Um, like our 2007 product, 2010 product is all managed with inside uh, central admin. All the licenses are managed. We use the same adapter framework. So the adapters that we have today, all of our on-premise and and, and cloud. Uh, adapters will work with our, our 2010 product as well. Um, just to note, um, the EBS provider is off for the purposes of this demonstration. I want everybody to see that we are in fact using RBS and not EBS to externalize the content. Um, those that are familiar with RBS know that it is a content database scoped feature, whereas EBS is site collection, web app, or farm uh, scope. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new work, um, new storage profile. You can see the different options we have here. We have our EBS options, web app, and site collection, and our RBS option, which is a content database. This is going to change uh, a little bit ultimately in the in the final uh, version. So I'm going to go in and pick one of my content databases. Scroll down here. Select blob externalization. Uh, for a quick demo, I'm just going to put it out to our file system. Put in a path. Oops, spelled that wrong. Blob store. Not going to compress or encrypt anything. Going to go ahead and save that. Now that's going to go through, and you can see it's it saved it already. We're already wired up with that particular uh, portal. So if I flip over to the site collection or one of the site collections associated with that, the content database, I can go into the document library here. I'm going to go ahead and upload a document. I'll do it the old school way. Click OK. That's going to take the blob, externalize that to the file system, keep metadata, um, inside of SharePoint. So we have the uh, the document here in SharePoint. I'm going to go ahead and open that. You can see that open up in Office Picture Manager. It's a scanned uh, TIFF document. If I go over to the actual blob store, here's the folder structure we created. Note the date and time, 10-25, 12, 12 p.m. Matches down here. There's the actual blob. So 700, um, you know, K TIFF. So um, that's using RBS. And you noticed we didn't run any PowerShell scripts. We didn't have to um, go out to a command prompt and, and do any uh, manual um, ad, um, admin or setup. Like our 2007 product, we handle all of that heavy lifting underneath the covers when you actually create the storage profile. So when I hit save on that storage profile, it went out and did all, all of that underneath the covers. Um, There'll be a lot of new stuff in our 2010 product. We're going to have some additional adapters. Uh, we're going to have a couple standards, standards-based adapters that are coming out. I'm not going to say too much about that now. Um, there'll be a lot of new capabilities. We're going to do some policy-based storage management to really enable some um, uh, some robust tiered storage uh, scenarios. Uh, there'll be some other things around, uh, you know, geo replication, geo location. Um, Again, not going to get into all the details on this on this quick video. I just wanted to make sure that everybody knew uh, that that we do in fact have an RBS provider. I've had one for quite some time. It coexists with our EBS provider. 
Um, our existing customers will have a very easy migration uh, between 2007 and 2010. And um, that's about it. You know, how, you know where to find us. You know how to get a hold of us. So if you have any additional questions about 2010 or RBS, um, info at bluethreadinc.com.